Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Amita Singh and this is part 10 of Elasticsearch. So before proceeding to the session, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel. You can press the subscribe button. You can also press the bell icon to get the notification of my channel. So in today's session, I'll be talking about the query DSL part only. It's a continuation of my previous sessions on query DSL. In that previous session, I have covered till here the query level, uh, the term level query, term, terms and range is covered. Now in today's session, I'll be covering the prefix query and wildcard query. So let's proceed with this session. Now, um, not to waste your time, I've already written the query. It's very much simple, like the prefix, field name and the value of the field. Very much simple and easier to understand, right? Now what happened? Prefix pins, the prefix, it should match the prefix. Now, my I have taken the field name, the employee last name. And in this field, I'm matching the employee last name should match with BRO, bro. Okay. Now, if I try to search the result, I'll get the response. The employee last name, wherever it is finding this match, this, this prefix match and getting the result, right? Very much in, easier and simple to understand, right? Now, if I try to search with this thing, I don't have any result like this way, right? I, I won't get anything. So this part is very much simple and easier. Now let's go to the wildcard thing. Now wildcard is uh, basically, it will search with the star. It is working like similar way uh, we use in query string query, right? We used to use star and we used to search over there. Uh, it, I've covered this query string query in my previous session. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it you can uh, go and watch this, watch that session. Now uh, here, I'm if I'm searching with brown star, star means whatever. Apart from this, uh, the prefix should be this, and here and number of character after star, after star. Yeah, correct. Now I can use this way as well. Okay. Now before and after, it should have these kind of things. Uh, whether it it will also take the empty string as well. So that's why I'm getting the result with empty as well, right? Now, if I try and give like n, it should end, end with n. It will give me the result like, okay. Uh, this is how wildcard works. But uh, uh, let me tell you one thing. We should avoid using wildcard query. Though it is giving me, you know, very advanced kind of, you know, searching and all that stuff. But we should avoid the wildcard. Because it's uh, somewhat very heavy, uh, you know, query DSL. <clears throat> Uh, query DSL part. So this is the heaviest query to be used for searching. Okay. Now, if you 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 might be noticing that the wildcard is working in the same way as the query string query, but where wild wildcard fails, why it is heavy and where wildcard fails, it is heavy because I'll take one example. Suppose you're writing a program. Okay, C C plus plus Java whatever way. And you are using for loop, right? The for loop in for loop, we have to iterate each and every time again and again, right? This is how it works. It it iterate each and every time, like a, just like a for loop, okay? It will take uh, with star, it will take each and uh, every uh, character and it will it will match, okay? And with without star, yeah, obviously it will not work. And the another disadvantage is if I try trying and searching with like this way okay will now i have one record with brown wilson it will not give me that response why because it it will not work with space right but in the query string query if i'm trying and searching with the same result i will get the result so this is some disadvantage of using the wildcard over query string query and also we should avoid or avoid this use avoid using this because it's heavy query it because it iterates each and every time to search the particular string or character like a for loop kind of that okay so that's all for today's session if you like my uh, session you can press the thumbs up if uh, and if you if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it and thank you for watching today's session. In the next session, I'll be covering the compound uh, 
compound query okay this one uh, in the compound query i'll be taking the first thing that is bull query okay thanks for watching today's session and please uh, subscribe my channel thank you